Hey, what's up guys? This is Tim from Tokyo, Japan, and I wanted to do a quick video on the total expenditures when I was in Medellin for the month of May. And we also traveled to Santa Marta, so that will be included in this video also. Um, just wanted to give you guys a quick glimpse of Tokyo before we get started here. This is such a beautiful morning here today. It's Sunday here. And... Um, it's very early in the morning, so no one's really out and about yet. But I am, because I've been awake uh, for a couple hours now. <laughs> so let's get started here. Uh, for the total expenditures in May, um, it was from 5 -1 to 531 for this period. Um, on 531, I was traveling to Japan. Um, so I didn't really spend too much money except on maybe Uber or that sort of st stuff. Um, I didn't include the plane ticket for the month of May because it didn't make sense to do that. Um, it, this is more reflective of my spendings in Medellin, Colombia and not so much about my travelings and all that other um, uh, things. So. First off, uh, on the left hand side you'll have all the different spendings from day to day. I try to log all my, uh, my spending so that you guys can see exactly what I buy and about how much they cost because I think it's useful for you. Um, also there's a column called the daily totals. Basically I double check my calculations and that's how much it is for that day. And then once you add them all up, you have a total at the bottom and you get a total of about 1,702,000 pesos for the total spendings uh, in the city uh, in Medellin, Colombia. So that's about $567 US. Um, this is definitely a bit more uh, than uh, last month, but uh, I'll compare it at the end. So some of my top expenses was, it's always going to be rent because uh, that's the most. Uh, rent is 650,000 pesos or about $217 US. Now this rent does include accommodation, bed, uh, private bathroom, uh, three meals a day um, as I've told you guys in previous videos. Um, and it's really close to Floresta metro station so that's very convenient for me. Um, next up we have the Airbnb rentals. So this was when we went to Santa Marta and uh, if you guys want more uh, info and details about this trip you can go into the other video that I have for total expenditures in Santa Marta, Colombia. So that's about $90 US. Uh, we stayed at about seven different hostels. It's pretty cool. cool. Uh, the next expensive was the round trip ticket to Santa Marta, 133,000 pesos or $44 US. Um, to note, uh, there was also an $80,000 uh, Colombian peso fee because I had such an oversized bag because it was a little bit too high so they actually charged me for that as well. If you really want to get the real uh, cost of my flight transportation to get to Santa Marta. Next up was the boat tour from Taganga to Playa Cristal, uh, 65,000 pesos or about $22 US. And uh, next up was my Uber ride home to Virginia. Yeah, it's not really part of Colombia, but I thought I'd just include this so you guys can see um, kind of what is in Colombia if you're cur uh, in Virginia, if you're curious. About 53,000 pesos or about $18 to get from Dulles Airport down to my, back to my home for about 20 minutes away from the airport. And then next up was Casa Alimento. This was for one night for a dormitory bed and it's quite a hike to get up there as well. You have to take a moto taxi or a jeep taxi or hike about an hour or two to get up to the uh, hostel. So add those costs as well if you want to uh, get that. But uh, those were some of my top expenses in uh, the month of May. Um, this doesn't include the plane ticket here to Tokyo, of course, because again, it's not part of Colombia. Um, and then I included the, the plane ticket to Santa Marta and the Airbnbs here uh, right below the top expenses so you guys can see uh, about how much uh, we spent. Um, the Airbnbs range from $10 to $20 
and uh, we stayed somewhere more because we wanted the convenience of being close to the airport um, and being close to the beach maybe and that sort of thing uh, but let's see the total for that it is a hundred and thirty four dollars US or about four hundred and four uh, thousand pesos uh, Colombian pesos um, I, there's a uh, total section, there's a per person section because I went with uh, a friend so uh, the per person section is you know of course just me, the cost of me and what you do is if you add up the totals for the daily totals and the um, the Santa Marta trip you get a grand total and we come out with a grand total of two million one hundred and seven thousand pesos give or take and it's about seven hundred and two dollars US uh, definitely more than last month for the month of April 2017 I only spent uh, one million four hundred and forty thousand pesos or four hundred and eighty dollars US this month is uh, about three hundred dollars more it looks like about two hundred dollars more uh, give or take and uh, I'm okay with that because we had a really good trip to Santa Marta and uh, when you go on vacation um, that's what happens you have to spend money to have a little bit of fun and also I didn't stay in my home uh, for about two weeks so kind of lost out on the meals and stuff like that in Medellin but that's okay um, I know better now so when I come back uh, maybe it's better for me to take trips at either uh, probably the beginning of uh, uh, months rather than like kind of in the middle of the month but that's kind of how it worked out um, if you guys have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Um, and this month was just expensive purely because of the Santa Marta trip also. But I think I spent a little bit more this month uh, as well. I'm not sure why, but um, other than that, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and this great view from Tokyo, Japan. Um, I'll be here for another about two weeks and uh, probably going to be doing an expenditure videos uh, for the month of, uh, uh, probably not for the, the next month, but probably just for Japan so you guys can get a sense. I feel like I've done enough justice uh, for Medellin, Colombia, so you guys already kind of know the average price there already if you're planning to come. Um, so from now on, I'll probably just do costs for like different trips that I do. Um, again, uh, if you guys have any suggestions or anything that you'd like to know, feel free to reach out to me and um, I'll give you guys a view of the nice city here in Tokyo.